solo cart, we started as a, uh, you know, as a single rider cart. It was really just meant to, to improve pace of play. You know, the whole idea early on was you, know, you, you have two golfers, you know, they're, they're riding in a cart together, and one guy hits his ball away to the right, and you gotta ride together to go find the first guy's ball, or you go back across the fairway to find the next person's ball. You got a group behind waiting and just kind of watch and say, you know, why can't they both go to their own ball? Over time, what we realized is that, you know, there's a whole lot uh, more to it, to, uh, to having people ride individually than just pace of play. Course maintenance being a massive expense for courses, they, you know, they really like having something smaller and lighter on the course, especially on some of those wetter days. The experience in and of itself, just playing around with golf on a, on a solo cart is, it's really fun. You stand up on the cart, typically, it's how most people like to ride it, so it's just kind of a cool new feel, and it's also great financially for the course. You can get more golfers through on a given day because people are playing a little bit faster. As soon as people ride the cart for the first time, it's like uh, that, you know their eyes light up and they always come back smiling. The solar cart is powered by the 24 volt Insight Series lithium battery from Relyon. We actually used to use two lead acid batteries in order to get our, our 24 volts. And we decided to switch the, the lithium batteries just because of the overall performance was significantly better. The cart weighed about 420 pounds. Uh, we made the switch to the lithium battery and now the final weight of this cart is 320 pounds. So we took almost 25% of the weight uh, out of this cart, uh, which had a tremendous effect on the performance, both in speed uh, and in hill climbing. I've tested the lithium batteries on many courses and it's amazing how consistent the discharge rate is on a lithium battery. If I go around a course one time and it discharges 35% of the battery, if I go around the course a second time, it's going to discharge exactly 35% of the battery. I appreciate the design of the Insight Series and primarily in the terminal posts and connections. Uh, on this cart, we have both the battery wires, which are uh, six a gauge wire. But in addition, we have to attach a GPS unit and the battery life uh, indicator. So having those extra terminals make it very convenient for wiring in accessories uh, into this battery. The lead acid batteries, you know, you, you start to get your performance drops off and as the, as the battery life goes down. Lithium was not like that at all. So we had full power literally right up until the cart died. For that reason, it's very important to have the battery life indicator uh, on the cart. I especially enjoy this one from Relyon because it's visible in both the dark as well as the bright sun. We always know what state of charge the battery has. We can get the cart back to the, to the barn and get it charged up when it needs to be. Lithium batteries, yeah, they, they are more expensive than, than lead acid batteries. It's a pretty easy decision when it comes down to it when you, when you look at the value it provides. So we met Relyon at the PGA Merchandise Show. The sales team that we had met at the PGA Show, they were more interested in our product than anyone had ever been. And they just really took a sort of a general interest in what we were doing and what we were trying to accomplish. We would not have even switched to lithium had we not had someone who was, you know, acutely in tune to what we were trying to accomplish, our goals and our product. And it feels like we're trying to accomplish it together. It feels like we're partners. Like we have a, we have a, a battery, we have a product that feels like it's made just for our cart.